On the outskirts of Buenos Aires in Argentina is the town of Ranela, developed in the early 20th century after the British-owned railway company built a station here. It's named after Viscount Ranela, a nobleman from the old country and originally was very much British in style. The railway station was built in 1911 and just as British railway workers brought their love of football to Argentina, so too did they import a passion for golf. The golf course next door opened soon after the train station. Ranela Golf Club is now nearly a century old and has hosted the Argentine Open five times. It's a scenic location, a mature parkland course with some challenging holes, but its principal claim to fame is the role it played in the development and life of one of the greatest sportsmen in Argentina. Roberto Di Vincenzo won more than 230 titles around the world, including multiple times on the PGA Tour and in Europe, and most famously the 1967 Open Championship, and he learnt the game right here at Ranela as a caddy. I learned how to control the ball because when I was young, I learned to play with the branch of a tree as my club and a little cork ball. And we would put these little tacks into the ball. It was really just using my imagination. And we would always bet 10 cents among ourselves to go to see a film. All the boys would bet and we would try to hit a target. But it was really tricky because of the wind and the weight of the cork, which meant the ball would get blown around all over the place by the wind. De Vicenzo would go on to master the winds on the Lynx courses of England and Scotland. He took to the Open Championship from the start with a succession of good finishes in the late 1940s. But he seemed destined to miss out on the title until 1967 at Hoylake. There he held off both Gary Player and Jack Nicklaus on the final day to claim the title at last. I remember when I won the Open Championship, people really took to me. They applauded me with lots of warmth and in real style. I was third three times, second twice and first once. Nice maths. His success drove the popularity of golf to new heights back in Argentina and De Vicenzo is widely credited with helping take the game beyond its initial expatriate base in the country. Golf was very small here back then. It was a game for English people. And people said it was a game for drunks, because the English who came here used to drink whiskey, of course. But it was not really a game for drunks, but for normal people. And golf progressed slowly here as people saw it and then tournaments began to get crowds of up to 15,000 people. And sponsors came on board as it became interesting. And good machinery too meant the courses began to be in much better condition, which meant they also looked much better and so people started to enjoy playing and watching the game more. So lots of people here may not play, but they still follow the game. The Di Vincenzo course is certainly in good condition. It offers wide fairways and generous greens. Although the rough is demanding and there's plenty of water to test amateur and professionals alike. Club membership may be drawn from Argentina's established elite, but there's a strong junior program and visitors are welcome. The atmosphere is relaxed and informal. You only need to watch the members at play to know that. And much of that comes down to the personality of Roberto Di Vincenzo. Famously popular at the height of his success for his friendly nature and relaxed approach to the game, his character imbues this club with its unique charm.
Ranelagh remains his second home. He played competitively here until well into his 80s. Now it's where he comes to socialise. So a round at Ranelagh is not just about the golf course, it's also about the man it's named after. They want to know all about my life, my sad little life. <laughs> the Di Vincenzo eyes remain bright, so too the mind, with a wealth of stories from his long career to keep members and visitors entertained. This man watching me play said, I can't believe I bet money on him. How can this guy even play golf? Look at the drunkard's nose he has. <laughs> So if you want to play a course with more than its share of golfing history and have a chance of meeting one of the greats of the game yourself, Ranelagh Golf Club has a rather special appeal.